Hey there, and welcome to Ryan's tutorial about canvases and views. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create and export detailed architectural drawing sets and presentations. Let's get started. When creating a new model in Ryan, you will arrive on a model canvas. The default line scale on model canvas is 1 to 40, and its default units are meters or feet, the units you would typically use to draw floor plans and sections, as I did here. You can manage and create canvases from the layer panel. Each Ryan model can contain multiple canvases, and every canvas carries its own settings, entities, and layers. Alongside model canvases, Ryan offers paper canvases. Unlike the model canvas where I draw my structure, a paper canvas is where I create my presentation and drawing layouts, with views of my structure in various scales. The paper canvas default units are centimeters or inches, and their line scale is one to one. In this paper model, I created an A3 and an A4 sheet at a 1 to 1 scale, with views of my model canvas at 1 to 50 and 1 to 25 scales. This allows me to see the line width of my drawings as they will appear when exporting or printing them. Now that we've established the difference between a model canvas meant for drawing structures and a paper canvas meant for organizing drawing documents, let's dive into views. A view is a window onto a canvas. From the layer panel, click on the plus button and choose a source canvas that you want to place on your current canvas. When creating your layout and presentations with views, you can reference different areas of an existing drawing at various scales with different styles and settings. Essentially, a view is a duplicate of your work. You can edit a view's appearance, as in its styles and settings, but not its content, as in its layout composition. It will always show the original canvas representation and therefore will be updated as you edit your work. You can crop a view window by clicking on the edit button and adjusting the clipping path. To go faster, hold the command or the control button to crop a view when not in editing mode. You can set the view's origin and scale from the property panel or from the view window. Note that panning and zooming while hovering on a view window will apply in the view area rather on the canvas area. Once you set your view's origin and scale, you can disable panning and zooming by clicking on the mouse button. As mentioned, the style and settings of views can be overridden to curate their content's appearance. To edit a view style, click on its edit button and go to the style panel. The new style settings you apply will affect that view only. At any point, the style overrides can be reset to match the original view appearance by clicking on the purple arrow. Let's edit this style again. Now, let's edit the visibility of a view. Click on the View's Edit button and go to the Layer panel. You can hide and unhide layers with various entities in your current view only. At any point, the visibility overrides can be reset to match the original view appearance by clicking on the purple button. Once your layouts and presentations are ready, you can use pages to export your work in PDF and images. Go to the Layer panel and create a new page from the plus button. Select the page and go to the property panel to set its scale to 1 to 1 and set its paper size. Then, go to the page panel to export your pages. They will be saved automatically on your computer's downloads folder. Check out our pages tutorial for more in-depth info. And that's everything about how to create drawing sets and presentations with Ryan canvases and view features. Check out our YouTube channel for more useful, hands-on tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next drawing tutorial.